菜好食啊！嗯。Thanks, Pa. That was good. 嗯 ，Thanks, Pa. 你包啦。嗯哼。How about some fruit? Okay. I got something special. Look. Yeah, I don't see anything. Exactly, nothing. Gilang Jai, no bruises, no bad spot. That's because I chose them myself. Papa, 亲手拣噶。爸 ，We've been over this. It's still a risk every time you go out. <sighs> Stephen, I thought you were handling the groceries now. I am, but this one time I grabbed bad fruit by accident. I'm sorry, but it hasn't happened again, right, Pa? Right. It doesn't matter. I'll get the fruit myself from now on. I walk to the farmers' markets for these. They taste better anyway. Well, just be careful. Things aren't back to normal, and they won't be for a while. What does normal even mean anymore? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Nah. I guess I know how you feel now. Yeah. How's it feel? Like you're being extra difficult when you just need to be extra careful. Ah, 大个女啦 ，you're finally growing up.、Hmm. Look, I know you're worried, but your dad has been through scarier things than this virus. Don't worry. Hmm. 系咪咧？好爽啊，又爽又甜。If you like. I can drop some off to you this Sunday. Um, I'll be out all day, actually. Oh, I see. I'm trapped at home, can't even get a haircut. But you can go out all day. Do I do that? Where are you going anyway? I'm going to the march downtown. The protest. Yeah, for Black Lives Matter. Emma, that's not safe. I've seen the news. Well, then you know why people are upset. George Floyd, right? I saw the video. No, it's not just George Floyd. It's Breonna Taylor. It's Ahmaud Arbery. It's Elijah McClain. It's all of them. The list goes on. Ba, they were all murdered. Em, I don't think Dad knows those other stories. Then we need to tell him. Look, I'm against police brutality too. But those protests are destroying city. How does vandalism, destruction, and stealing help solve anything? Dad, the people that are protesting are not the same people that are rioting and looting. That's what I read. Well, what you read because you can't believe everything online. Doesn't matter which people are doing what. Bottom line is, too many people means trouble. We don't want trouble. Better stay away. No, it's not too much trouble. I'm exercising my right to peacefully protest. What if your peaceful protest turns into someone else's violent protest? Then what? Okay. Okay, let's talk about safety. Forget about the protest for now. Just imagine I was walking home. Or sleeping in my bed, doing everything in my control to be safe, but because of one false move, I get shot and killed. Emma. No, Dad. Imagine knowing that it was the police, the ones meant to protect us. They pulled the trigger. And then imagine that officer facing zero consequences. Imagine all of that happening not just to your child, but to their grandchildren and their children too. That is what we're talking about. Wouldn't it make you angry enough to maybe do something out of line? Maybe, but violence is not the answer. Never the answer. The violence just proves how high the stakes are. Okay, yes, there is a possibility of danger, but we have to demand justice. We have to demand accountability and reform, and that is worth the risk. Is it? 
Hey, why are you going to defend black people when they've been attacking Asians? Who's defending us? Dad, you can't generalize those attacks on the entire black community. That's what you told me. First you say, oh, black people attacking Asian. Now you say, don't blame black people for violence. No, that's not what I... I showed you those stories because I wanted you to know what was happening. And I was worried about you. I wasn't trying to make you hate black people even more. I don't hate black people. No, I know. I, I think just... using your dad is that bad and always wrong. No, Ba, I don't think you're. Some help would have been nice. I don't disagree with what you said. Then back me up. You don't get it. What? What don't I get? It's not always you against the world, Em. And you can't expect to prove them wrong with just one conversation. Well, at least I'm starting one. You don't think I've tried? Look, I spend a lot more time with Ba than you do. Especially after I had to move back home. You're not the only one who's trying, okay? What happened? Things got pretty heated earlier in the week when I tried explaining to him how being called a model minority isn't exactly a good thing. He could only see it his way. Well, he shouldn't have given up so easily. It was more like I didn't want to be upset that he didn't agree with me. So instead, I started asking him questions about his own life. You know, before us, before mom. Yeah, but you already know the story. He barely got through high school before coming to America. He studied hard and worked harder until he finally found success. Yes, we've been hearing the same story since we were little. That's the thing. We always hear the same story, using the same words. But how much of the whole story do you really know? Turns out there's a lot that dad leaves out. It made me realize whatever he believes, it comes from the truth of his experiences. What do you mean? When he first came here, uh, he had no money, no language, no friends or family. When you go out looking for those things on your own, it's easy to get taken advantage of or believe everything you're told. It's because of those experiences. I mean, that's the reason Ba thinks the way he does. Yeah, but we can fix that now. You said you tried, and now I'm trying. Okay, I know we'll get through to him. Maybe. Just keep sharing, listening. But we don't have to change his mind. Because, one, that's up to him. And two, He's just as stubborn as you are. Take these tonight, since I won't see you this weekend. Uh, this fruit is good because you picked it yourself. You took a risk so that you could see it with your own eyes. That's what I have to do too because whatever is happening right now has been a long time coming. And it affects all of us, but especially minorities. Blacks and Asians alike. We can't keep ignoring the struggles of another group just because it feels like we're not connected or because of any past misunderstandings. Right now's the chance to change all that.
you're growing up, but you will always be my daughter. And even if you're fine, I will always worry. Wear a mask. I know. And I'm glad we're talking about this because we never have. Okay. There's a lot we haven't talked about. I want to be better about that. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Up to you. Whatever it is, I'll listen. Ha! <laughs> you sure? You know your dad has a lot of story to tell. I know. Okay. What were those names again? Uh, those people got killed? I want to look up their stories. I'll write down those names for you. Bye. Yeah, and I'll send you some translated articles too. Okay. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this new short. The dialogue and themes in it are things we've discussed a lot here at Wong Fu Productions, and we hope they resonated with you in some way. The reason we made this particular short was to address the conversations that many of us are beginning to have with our immigrant parents. As you saw in the short, it's not easy, and it'll take time. While Wong Fu always strives to tell relatable stories, we know there's no general template to begin these intricate talks. Every conversation is different because everyone's unique life experience shapes their unique perspective. The truth is, we grew up in a very different world than our parents, but we shouldn't avoid talking to them just because it could be awkward or confrontational. If anything, it's those conversations that need to be had the most. As we've seen, it's been an especially difficult year for the Asian American community, with the anti-Asian hate crimes on the rise and continuing around the world. These attacks are frequently underreported by the media, and if we want change, we need to bring more attention to them. Check out the panel we hosted with prominent Black and Asian thought leaders from the community. Also, our friends Year of the Ox made a powerful piece shedding light on the recent attacks on Asians. You can find both videos and other resources linked below. The events of 2020 have truly underscored the importance of being open-minded and compassionate towards others. We might not always reach the same conclusions, but as we start or continue to share our personal perspectives, let's listen to understand and empathize, not just listen to respond. Thanks for watching.